Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. For ten more minutes of me. What else can you ask for? <laughs> okay, I stayed up last night. Got them uh, gear doors and stuff all primed up. I put a pretty heavy coat on them then. Turned the heater off and went in the house. It got freezing cold last night. They didn't set up very good. This morning I had to wrap them up in the electric blanket. They set up, but just wasn't really sandable. So, put the electric blanket on it. Went and did some running this morning. I know y'all's dying to see what's going on. But I got one word I want, want you to say. You gotta repeat it after me. Mellow. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with some 400. I got some 400 here. Now prime these with my epoxy primer. Then I'm just going to put them right back where they came from. So I'm just saying, them. see, if I don't put them back in here, when I sand these, it'll want to, you know, curve this edge down this corner, and I want that to stay nice and sharp. All right. So I did stay at Primes last night. <laughs> Had the garage door open. It's pretty chilly. Kind of had some flashbacks of last year, <laughs> painting and priming on it. Ten blow out. So, right. well, we've got to keep on turning. Can't stop just because it's cold. We've got a word for people who stop when it's cold. We call them like Marys. <laughs> Sissies. Pansies <laughs> and Butch. Oh, <laughs> not really, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was funny. I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> hey, it's all good. Someone was commenting on my the, the videos in my favorites. I said, "Yeah, I crank up the radio and and uh, my shop with the rock and roll." And oh yeah, on that camera you're rolling, man. I love that YouTube. It, it'll just play one song after another, you know. And my favorites are getting. Big enough to wear. You don't hear the same stuff over and over again. Oh yeah. We just know rock and roll fan here. Like that older stuff. Deep purple. Deep purple where the fathers are rock and roll. Not Elvis. <laughs> The guys was rocking, man, in the 60s. Well, that was a heavy metal rock and roll, I should say. Well, I'll tell you what, them came out pretty good, actually. I ain't gonna take a whole lot of sand and No pinholes, because I just filled them whole things, you know. Then we just gotta make them slick. Go ahead and hit them with some thousand. And I'm not done with this piece either. This here, when I'm done here, I'm still there's still gonna be a use for this. I'll show you. It's another reason why I cut that with a knife, it's all nice. Clean cut. 
when I pulled these out off last night to prime them, you know, I cut all the way through. And, uh, you know, that's always where I'm going to be cutting them, so it didn't matter if the blade scored the mold a little bit. Man, I've seen some pretty good ads on there beside my videos. Did you guys see that that hovering thing? That hovering chopper? That is cool, man. It's got a camera in it. And you actually fly it off an iPhone, I think. Or a smartphone. But you can, like, take it off in the, in the driveway and sit here in the garage and go fly that thing around. And come back and land it, then go out there and pick it up. It's got it's got a good forward flight and everything. I was just shocked on that. You guys have to go click on that. It's on uh, uh, the 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 Bobo cam in the Cougar. Go back and look at that. Click on it. Uh, that thing is cool, man. I'm gonna have to have one of them myself. Say, Mama Link. <laughs> and we just take the bobo sponge, clean all this off. Might have a little bit of mold release and, uh, on the back of these parts. Maybe a little overspray. Cause I'm going to be double face taping them in, so I need them to be clean too, the backs and the fronts. I need to mark them again. These are all A's. Yeah. Marked them on that mold release. That wasn't very smart, now was it? I'll use this. This is my mold. I'll uh, get all my gear doors off of this mold. See, everything's got purposes, more than one purpose. Just like all the tools in Bob's shop. <laughs> you ain't getting its full potential if you're just using the screwdriver for a screwdriver. You know what I mean? There, Vern. To mark what pieces go with which. This is you know this one's A. I'll mark all of these A on the back side. So I know where they go. This is just double face taping them in. Sometimes they'll come out with the part. Probably be the gold. Bam, there's that side. 